Hi friends, this is Prasad and then you're watching Power BI with Prasad. In this session, we will learn regarding page level security, how to restrict the pages as per the user login. So this is similar to row level security concept. Okay, so I'll use row level security concept and then I'll just do page level security because we don't have page level security in Power BI. We are using row level security concept and then we are doing okay, page level security. What is page level security? So for the given user, okay, so what pages are allocated to him? okay we are showing we want to show only those pages then we will create this page level security nothing but showing those pages only to the to the user which uh, are allocated to him so that is what we do have for that we can do it in two different ways first, first one is like a okay, static thing the second one is dynamic things in static okay you need to create okay those many roles and then like okay those many uh, as per okay uh, the roles available and then pages available so that would be difficult if you have like more number of pages then more number of roles okay more than a more number of people uh so what i want to do is like i want to create a static role level security like dynamic role level security here what we'll do we'll create okay all the user names and then like allocated pages okay so whatever it might be if, if it is if one page allocated to him that's okay and then even if it is uh, okay more than one page allocated to a particular user that's also okay acceptable uh, so as per okay uh the client's condition you uh, okay you'll ask him uh, uh, the client okay to create this kind of table and then after that using that table you'll get it the table into power BI, and then using that table you can create the uh, uh dynamic page level security and again that table is completely disconnected table no need to have any relation with that for this particular case so again let me show you what uh, uh the procedure how to create the page level security dynamically so here in my case, I do have three pages. Okay, so three pages, this is my home page, And then like, I do have three pages, which I've been already hide them. So I'll come again to my home page, And then what is the process of how to create that? I created in a uh, um, slicer, and then I've been taking the page names column into this. So I get all the uh, like distinct page names. And then again, in the format pane, okay, I've been uh, converted into like, okay, an orientation into horizontal so that I got in this way. So that is what I've been created. And after that, I've been created a button. So here, uh, I created a button in that, okay. Uh, um, I've been created a measure over here, and then use that measure over here to um, uh, give, uh, uh, go for that particular piece. So once after they select that one, okay they click this particular go button okay it need to go to that particular page this is what i want to do and then like here the pages that are visible need to be set, uh, shown as per okay the username like what whoever the people logged in so as per that username these pages need to be okay uh, shown over here so first of all we'll uh, we'll go with this particular okay uh, go option so go button what's the uh, like action or what is the procedure that will be done over here for this and after that i'll go for okay uh, uh, and then create this particular uh, uh, role level security or else okay page level security concept using the role level security um, concepts so here i've been created a button okay and then okay in action okay i've been asked okay um uh this particular okay whatever the page that been selected now like i want to give that page as okay here in a like uh field field uh, uh, customization so how we can do that for that we need to create a measure so nothing but okay selected base so what does it have it's it's nothing but selected value of this particular base so whatever the base has been selected okay that value will be in this particular measure i have been used at that one so how to use that one so go to if you click that one so if, I'll, I'll delete that and i'll create once again i've been deleted and then it will show us like that page navigation and destination once you give the action to that then i'll go for this particular one and then I'll select that particular measure. Okay, so measures, I mean, have that measure over here and then click okay. So that measure has been okay selected. And then if you go through that, okay, if I, let me show you that. Okay, if I go through that, okay, if I click that, okay, so control plus click, okay, you'll get over here. So first page. And then again, in every page, okay, I've been given a home, uh, like a button, home button. So once we click that, again, we'll go into like this space. So right now, okay, so everything is working fine, but we need to create the page level security right now. How to create that one? First, we need to go for modeling and then we need to create a role. So already I created the role. Then how, okay, what is the logic in between? Nothing simply, nothing more than that. Simple, the username should be the user principal name. So whatever the user principal name, 
okay those user uh, details only need to be shown over here so that is what we are filtering from here so we are taking the user principal name uh, the one okay who logged in with their email address okay so if whatever the okay, email address uh, we got from user principal name we are, we are filtering only those rows from this table so if i logged in okay with okay this particular okay mm -hmm. Um, this is my user principal name over here. Okay, in desktop we can have the user uh, like system name, and then in Power BI service once we finish, uh, once we publish this, we we'll get this particular uh, okay uh, email address. So as we all know this, okay, I want to show again my table. Then this is okay for this role. We we need to show only this particular page. We don't need to show all other pages. So how we do this? So again, um, I'll go to this. So here it is right now. It is showing all the pages. So let me check and then like okay uh, I'll see what uh, what is the role that I'll, I can see over here in this particular okay um rather security click on this and then click okay you can see only one page so and then if you want to go to that page again like these hidden pages can't be seen once we publish this report so no need to worry so right now okay uh, it, this only this page will be shown so that particular user, okay, once he logged in, so only this page will be shown and then like he can click on this one and then he'll go to that page. And then again, from this page, he can come back and then like he can see only that first page. So again, I'll show with, okay, some other, uh, uh, I'm stopping the view. And then I'll go with like some other user name. So you can see this, okay, this particular user three has access to two pages, two and three. So I want to like okay, uh, uh, check with this particular uh, user. So we check that one. So go for roles and then like okay, check others and then uh, like okay, the role that we've been created. Okay, and then again, you, you need to give that user name three at and given his okay um, email address. And then let me check, okay, what are the pages that we'll get? So what are the pages that we are getting? So, okay, see, you can see right now, okay, so once, okay, you can see, okay, uh, the base names, uh, the two and three also. Okay, um, so from him, from this, okay, so whatever the page that you select, okay, you can go to that pages, okay, these pages will be shown to him, and then again, come back, okay, those pages, and then I want to click on this particular page, and then again, control, and then click on this go button, and then I can go for third page. So in this way you can show and then okay uh, for a somewhat modification what I want to do is like uh, you can okay in this particular table you can create the home page also like okay right now I want to stop doing you can create a home page and for that okay you don't give any uh, other role simply keep it blank and then okay take a role, home page so that you can see the home page also over here so by default you can make it okay you can make uh, that one as okay the default page and then like you'll have home page and then page one page two page three and then from that okay whatever the page that okay allocated to him that one will be shown to that particular role hope you people understand and then if you have any difficulties you can just uh, ping me um the comments okay i'll reply you people and then i'll uh give you some other examples in this place level security in the next coming up videos thank you have a great day please subscribe to my channel and share it if you like. Thank you.